good evening to you. Yeah, I'm on the Suzuki GSX 8R. Uh, I'm just on my way home from work and <clears throat> I keep getting lots of questions about uh, how am I enjoying my Suzuki? We haven't seen much of the Suzuki. Well, uh, there are videos still to come out on the Suzuki where you know I've gone to bike meets and stuff like that. Um, but I have done a lot of miles on it. I've done about 3,000 miles on it so far, um, including a little tour of Yorkshire. Yeah, I uh, went up to York and then round the North York Moors. Uh, absolutely no problems at all. I absolutely love the bike. It's uh, really good on the motorways, on the back roads, or, you know, on the A roads. It's a real hoot and I bought it as a sports tourer and a lot of people I think thought well no it's a sports bike. It's, it makes an excellent sports tourer. It's comfortable. I can ride on it all day and feel fresh as a daisy. It's also very very good through the traffic. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean I rode the Tiger and I went on about the Tiger. This is like a compromise between the Tiger and something else, I think. I thought for me, it's it's almost as comfy as the Tiger, um, but it reminds me a lot the way its road presence is and the stacked headlamps that everybody, um, well, not everybody, people either hate them or love them. Um, but I tell you what, I've noticed. It clears traffic out of the way. The, the light is so bright. Um, and I won't, I won't go down the A14 today. Normally on this, I, I disappear down the A14. Um, but I'm gonna go the back road so that I can mutter and maybe stop and do a little walk around so you can have a look at it. It's absolutely filthy at the moment. I don't have the panniers on today. Uh, the panniers, a little bit disappointed in the top box on the panniers. In heavy rain, it does let water through. They do get very damp inside. Um, but they serve a job and I've got wet liners. So uh, everything has to go in a wet liner. Um, fortunately, on our tour, it, it, didn't rain at all we we're very lucky um, went up on a Viking hunt yeah marvelous um, uh, so I've had no real problems well I've had no problems whatsoever as you would expect from a Japanese manufacturer that's only done 3,000 miles I mean what is there to go wrong there's nothing to go wrong um, So yeah, but I mean, I guess for those that don't know, it's got 82 brake horsepower. And that doesn't seem like masses, but I tell you what, the bike is so quick, just where you want it. And if you're not careful, you could easily lose your license because it, it zips up to those kind of speeds um, rather easily, yeah. The quick shifter doesn't help matters because that just encourages you to go quick um, and I find it one of the best quick shifters I've used on any bike. The, the torque uh, 78 newton meters so it's actually got the, just about the same amount of torque as the Bonneville which for the type of bike it is is also quite incredible and it's where that torque comes in that sort of 40 to 90 miles an hour <laughs> yeah I know um, it's just lovely handling it comes with um, what are they Dunlop uh, Road Sports or something like that pretty damn good yeah 
Um, I've had no complaints about the tyres. We'll, we'll, time will see when uh, we're off. Over it, crikey, he nearly went up the kerb. Um, uh, what, what was that? The tyres, yeah. Time will tell because what I tend to find is doing a run like the York run uh, you can't help but go on straight lines yeah so they're bound to get a bit squared off so I'll, I'll be interested to see how long they are before they do if I do more runs like that Up 40 still, naughty bike. Um, I, th I think I've decided to call the bike, it has got a name now, and I call it Bob. Yeah, I call it Bob for a couple of reasons. Um, I always think of a, a, a Bob, someone called Bob can do everything, can't they? You know what I mean? And that, this bike makes me feel like that. Um, the C-Tie, 810 millimetres. Uh, oh, it's sort of middling, isn't it, really? Uh, better than a, an adventure bike. Um, and a bit higher than a retro bike. Uh, I find it very comfortable. Some people say that the seat can get a bit numbing after a long distance. Uh, I guess it sort of can. Um, but I don't have a, an issue with it. Uh, what, uh, oh, what else? Uh, oh, suspension seems fine. Uh, handling, like I say, I've had no problems at all. It's a real hoot and it, it really does go around corners well. Um, uh, far better than much more expensive bikes, I would say, in some instances. Uh, but what I'll do is, I will find somewhere to stop and do a little walk round and bring you back. Right, here we are in the beautiful Suffolk countryside here. Yeah. Uh, this is rush hour, believe it or not. Yeah, Lauren, I mean, look at this. Absolutely marvellous, eh? But oh, there we go. The Suzuki GSX 8R. What do you reckon? Um, let's start at the front end. It's pretty dirty, isn't it, at the moment? Banana Man would say it's absolutely filthy. Um, but those twin brakes, no problem at all, Nissan. Um, the fairing seems to do an exceptional job at keeping you fairly dry in quite heavy rain I've been out in it in and it has we have had some heavy rain um, and I'm just looking at that back tire and you can see it has started to square off from that run up up to York yeah I should have stayed on the back roads but I want I only had a weekend to do it in um, but the bike was faultless and it flew up there um, you can see I haven't got the panniers on um, but everything's holding up really well but you know it's not very old um, top box has been fine I've got that on because I've got stuff in from work um, quick shifters absolutely marvellous both up and down um, yeah and I just love that colour and it does turn heads people look at it when I pack it outside work um, lots of people comment on it and for a modern bike that's unusual I find uh, normally it's the retro bikes that they all seem to go for but that engine like I say 82 brake horsepower 78 newton meters of torque top speed about 134 something like that they reckon um, I've got to say at about 120 it starts to run out of puff a little bit um, but that's probably me I'm a big heavy lump yeah but there you go um, mirrors absolutely fine I'll mutter a bit more about it when I get on board yeah right back on board 
ignition on brrr, that dash dead simple got everything you need to know got your traction control settings um uh and your engine management settings um absolutely fine uh, miles per gallon seem to be pretty decent as well let's get going Um, yeah, so, I mean, I think it's a very pretty bike. A lot of people say it's pretty, which doesn't really go with the name Bob, I realise that. Oh, there's the llamas. Uh, let's get down here. Um, oh, let's crack on with the census test as well. Um and straight out there taste well this is blue <laughs> it's a blue sweet what else can I say naughty uh, it could be anything a skittles anything blue a smarty <laughs> yeah uh, or maybe uh, one of those energy drinks yeah you get quite a lot of energy drinks that are blue don't you get buses around this corner as well which you've sometimes got to be watchful for um, smell well 3,000 miles I don't smell of anything except warm metal then uh, what have we got to look at looks like a, a, to me a sports tour when it's got the panniers on and everything um, but a modern bike if you don't like it you won't, you won't like it will you yeah as simple as that if you're into retro classics um, the stacked headlamps a lot of people don't like like I say it seems perfectly fine at night uh, it's not as good as the V-Strom I would say with the headlamp you know the old V-Strom let's get down here um, then what to touch and feel uh, considering it's built down to a price I think it's bloody marvellous um, I think it, I'm pleased as punch with it uh, you wouldn't think it's done 3,000 miles when it's polished um, it seems really <laughs> top notch yeah oh let's have a look for this dog she's got a long lead can't control it marvellous um, and the sound uh, it's just uh, it's a parallel twin it sounds and feels it behaves like a a V yeah so I think full marks to Suzuki and that they've got that uh, counterbalance thing going on as well haven't they to keep the vibrations some people have said they've felt vibrations through the foot pegs at about 70 or oh, if you are maybe change your footwear or uh, do 80 <laughs> yeah no I can't say that that's wrong um, do 60 um, <laughs> the option's yours oh watch out for stuff coming over um, and then what we got the sixth sense how does it make me feel I love it I absolutely love this bike um, you're not gonna see much more of it because I don't have a lot of miles on the insurance left on it yeah no I mean a thousand miles I can do in the blink of an eye if I'm not careful so the other bikes are gonna have to pick up the slack when I say the other bikes of course I mean Bertie so yeah that's how it makes me feel very happy can it tow? Yeah, it can. Um, would I recommend it? Something I don't actually get asked directly is that, really, which is strange. Um, and normally when I, when I do recommend a bike, it comes with caveats, because everybody's different and you have to say that. But I can honestly say I would recommend anybody at least gives one of these a go
yeah so that's where i am with it i hope you've enjoyed this little catch up and i'm sorry you've not seen much of it and i'm sorry i didn't film my toes but i've got to have some part of my life that is private and um apart from that filming toes and stuff it's just hard work <laughs> and i work hard enough as it is so i'm sorry about that i might do one one or two I don't know, but we'll see. So there you go. Ta-ta!